before the, the games and clicks and actually came to Fort Worth, Texas. We used to go to a place called Jolly Town Skate Ring, man. Right, I remember you talking about yeah, it. Yeah, Jolly Town Skate Ring, you know. That's where all the cleats goddamn me collided. I was a youngster. I was a baby, man. Right. I, I just wanted to be in something. Back then, the 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 the, uh, the worst thing you could see back then, a nigga pull out a knife. Nigga, ooh, shit, they got a knife. Uh, then that nigga, nigga was fighting. I was in the GQ boys, good quality, man. You know, GQ boys, consist, we came from Dunbar. Dunbar had GQ boys. ODY had all in the family. Um, Pascal had the Legion of Doom. The Projects had PYT. Um, um, Gerald Gomez, all them little cats over there in the projects. Um, the Stripling Brothers, the Polo Boys. Come on, man. Gangs, nigga. Yeah, that shit y'all ain't never heard of. And these gangs were notorious in Fort Worth before Crips and Bloods even hit this motherfucker. Yeah, the GQ Boys. GQ Boys. Good quality, man. Uh, our, our job was to be clean. Polos, uh, Kohans. Yeah. Goddamn me, the Penny Loafers. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We come to school, but we was determined, but we act the baddest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I never forget Tales from a Crip. I never forget, uh, we was at ODY summer school. You know, back then you had free summer school. And a uh, nigga would let you go to summer school. And uh, we stand on the wall, GQ boys, we stand on the wall, not little old gang, you know. I never forget all the family rolled up on us in a yellow photo Fleetwood Cadillac. And it was just like motherfucking boys in the hood. Right. When they got that window came down. That nigga hat was to the back like this. That window came down, that nigga pulled out that motherfucking double, bro. And he pointed at all of us standing up there. Everybody standing up against that wall. And my partner on side me said, nigga, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't even move. I just stood there. And that nigga had that gun. He, he was like, I dare one of you niggas to say something. And he sit there and he pointed. And he waited, and he waited. Then they drove off real slow. And the nigga on side of me said, oh, shit, we're gonna get them niggas. We're gonna get them niggas. We're gonna get them niggas. I was like, damn, who the fuck was them niggas? <laughs> shit, you understand me? And they left. I went to class. You know, because I still get whoopings, baby. I was still in school. You understand me? I had to go to class. Yeah. When it was lunchtime, the GQ boys had left and came back. Them niggas had guns and everything. I was like, god damn, I see a gun. We got a gun now. I'm like, God damn. We had ODY in front of the school, and uh, they said we finna wait on them niggas. They coming out the front. The, the Cadillac was already parked right there. They came out. And our little gang came from around the corner. And I was the dude that I was cool with was Carlos, and he leading the pack, and I was right on the side of him. Felt like I was something. I'm in the gang. You heard me? It's finna go down. Yeah. First time gang banging. And them niggas came out there in front. They were standing in front of ODY. We approached them niggas. And they wasn't scary. They wasn't, so y'all went from Dunbar and went up to the Yeah, ODY. see, Dun no, Dunbar is what it was. Summer school was free. Right. It was free for all schools around the metro place, but they held yeah, it at ODY. One school. So, yeah, one right. school. So, all schools was at one school, depending on where you went to. That's how the, that's how the shit mixed up. That's how, yeah, I know it. Mm -hmm. I know it. Y'all that, know that, that, that's called trouble. That was called mixing up trouble. You know, number one, hell, if they got to go to free summer school, that means that one in school doing their job any goddamn way. Right, right. <laughs> that means they weren't acting good at school anyway. You understand me? You better go get this free summer school, goddamn me, so you're going to pass it in this grade because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Right. So guarantee you the niggas that's going to summer school, they already hard hits anyway. And they from different schools. We approached them cats, man, and immediately the fight jumped out. You dig what I'm saying? And a nigga passed me the gun, the, the, the gauge. You understand me? You know me. I, back then, I wasn't a killer. But he passed it to me. So I had to do something with it. So I took it and I whopped it across the head with the motherfucker. Whop. And they were like, nigga, that. You know, they looked at me like, damn, fool, that ain't what you're supposed to do. Well, that's what I'm finna do. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I know what you do when you pull the trigger. And you, I, know, I know all that that come after that. You dig know what I'm saying? And the nigga, when that nigga gave me the gun, the dude took off running. And I chased him down with it like I was finna do something. By the time I caught up to him, I, I wasn't finna do what they thought, so I just hit him with the motherfucker. Pop! And me and him just went, I threw the bitch to the side, we just went to fight in that goddamn field across from ODY. Back then, the grass was so high, you couldn't even see a nigga over there fighting. Right. Yeah, it was weeds and, and field and everything across from ODY back then. We was in that field, we just went to fighting and fighting and fighting, and it went down. 
Back then, Tales from a Crip, back then, they had a gang unit called Salt and Pepper. If y'all don't remember that. Gang really, unit? Yeah, it was a gang unit. It was a gang unit called Salt so, and Pepper. Really, really, they, they're officers that work at all schools. These two, like, like Starsky and Hutch. You understand me? They didn't play no game. They coming for you. You understand me? Uh. We seen them pull up. And they jump out. They had a car like they was in a North car. Old school North car. You know, the four the by, uh. The um the photo um Caprice right. throwback. You know, they ain't one of them motherfuckers and um they jump out, everybody run. We ran to the movie theater. You know, for y'all to know where ODY is, back then they had a big old movie theater right there. Right, I heard everybody that. took heard off that. running. And they ran towards the movie theater. By the time we got to the movie theater, the police was everywhere. I ran inside a goddamn me um uh uh it was a mailbox place right there. And I ran in there and I ran in there, and they said, uh uh, get out of here. I'm like, God damn. She didn't know what was going on, so when I ran out, police was coming there, and I hid under the car. I, I ran up under the car, and I stood under the car, and I watched the police just pass by me. And I jumped out, I took off running again, started walking on side of the road like I didn't know I'm not a part of them, you know what I'm saying? They, whatever, they, they running, I'm walking. And they, they drove by me. The next day, she, we all was in that same office. And I, had, I still had to go to school. Mama didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Right. Mama didn't know what was going on. I went back to school, and know. Uh, Walked in the office, salt and pepper was in there. First time I seen them. But to make a long story short, that's how long gang's been around, man. That was in 94, 95. I mean, that was in 85. 85. Talk to your shit person. That was in 85. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. Gangs didn't hit forward. Chris and Bloods didn't hit this bitch to 88, 89. That was 10 years later. Yeah. Oh, 88, 89. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was in 80. That was in 83, man. 84, 85. Yeah, that was in 85. I was in the ninth grade, bro. You understand me? Trying to get to the 10th grade. You dig what I'm saying? 14 years old. I was already on it. You understand me? Um. So, for a lot of niggas to think gang banging just hit Texas around 88, 88. Nah, it's been here. It's been here. It's been here way before that. It's been a gang infested city. You dig what I'm saying? Um. When Crips and Bloods came, all those gangs, there was GQ boys, Stripling Brothers, Polo Boys. Right. Um, niggas had a choice to make. You either gonna be Crip or Blood. Right. So all them cliques broke out. All in the family became Bloods. That's Kool Aid and them. Shout out to Kool Aid. He been out here, y'all. Before that shit. That's the shout out to him, man. First real gangster blood I ever knew. Info work. What's Kool Aid? Barlos. His brother, Barlos. The only, only Blood niggas that would fall up into the nighty night. Flamed up, nigga, in a room full of goddamn Crips, nigga. I take they lick some nights, and be back to, and be back to party the next night. You dig what I'm saying? With some dangerous Crips. With some dangerous Crips, nigga. Them Crips at the nighty night, yeah. For y'all don't know what the nighty night was. Nighty night was a little club off of Vaughn Street back. Was off of um, in Polly over the back off in the days, and that's where everybody went was to the nighty night. It was more killings and murders at the nighty night than anything. I ain't seen a nigga right in front of me go outside the door, outside the club, get his brains blown on the motherfucking wall, and was just right in front of me. And make the crowd bag up. What happened? The nigga that was just in front of you got, he just killed that nigga. Cause that was just right there? Yeah, that seems just got shot. God damn. Went out there, his shit was on the wall. You understand me? It was dangerous. And Kool-Aid and Barlow's hung in that motherfucker regular. Until you know they got their respect. And they showed up, they showed up with brothers at first. Then start showing up with partners. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And everybody knew it could get gangster. But I want to talk about, can I get one tell from the crib right. off the record? Right. The ballroom. The most game banging is place that you could ever find that, that in South Central. Right. Fuck you. <laughs> was a place, goddamn me, that, um, wasn't no neutral ground. Nigga, you on the South Side, the West Side coming, the South Side coming, the East Side coming. Who ain't coming? Right. Young niggas. They don't got them clubs no more. They had them right now. It'll be, it'll be a rap. They had them clubs back then because it was a rap at them motherfuckers. You understand me? They, DJ Quick came to perform. Get your bitch ass from down here. Fuck you mean? You time for to get on this stage and throw up no flag, DJ Quick. Yeah, that's how bad, that's how dangerous it was down here in the murder. You understand me? You, you don't get to, yeah, you get killed down here. Any kind of game banging signs of what? If you get up there, you better be, you better be ready. Shout out to OBGs, man. No, shout out to the LODGs, man. You understand me? Uh, no, 
the Groove Decker performed.